Hi, I'm Kevin Adams, and welcome to my studio. The Shenandoah National Park Trust invited me to uh, talk about my experience as the artist in resident for the Shenandoah National Park in 2017. And uh, I guess first I want to uh, just back up and mention uh, a couple other uh, wonderful opportunities. I've been fortunate to uh, visit a lot of the national parks, but I was invited to uh, by the Grand Canyons National Park to go out and I went on a 30-day whitewater rafting trip uh, down the Colorado through the Grand Canyons and um, did a series of paintings of the Inner Gorge uh, as a part of the 75th anniversary of the Grand Canyons National Park. And the park now has uh, somewhere between 10 and 15 of my paintings in the permanent collection. And then because of how well that was uh, received, I was then invited to uh, go out to Glacier National Park. And uh, I was in Glacier National Park for uh, a month and a half. And this was to do a series of paintings of the back country of Glacier National Park. And this was to help celebrate the 85th anniversary of uh, Glacier National Park. And so I live in Washington, Virginia, right on the edge of Shenandoah National Park. And so Shenandoah National Park is my backyard and is my home. And uh, so it was, I've been up in the park before and after my residency. And I, it was important to, I wanted to contribute to the Shenandoah National Park. Uh, and so I applied uh, for the artist in residence resident uh, program for Shenandoah National Park and I was chosen for 2017 and so part of my proposal was I wanted to invite people that found me up in the park painting I wanted to be able to invite them to paint with me and so I uh, I'm looking for some photos now um, and so I invited uh, people to paint with me. And so here are some photos of, I had people from uh, age five up to 80 paint with me um, over that two week period. And so let's go back. Um, whoops. Uh, I'm trying to go back, there we go. Um, and so, uh, whoops, sorry, still learning how to do this. And, uh, and so the park is over hundred miles long. And so I felt, and I wanted the body of work that I did for this to, uh, sort of convey the, the full character of the, of the park. So I felt I needed to, uh, plan out my two weeks. And so for some reason I've kept this piece of cardboard but I planned out my entire two weeks. And, uh, and with that, I was able to give that to the um, park. And so they made uh, um, a schedule and gave me a sandwich board. And so whether I went for a hike, I would leave it at the trailhead or I would, oh, let's go here. Uh, I would leave it at the trailhead or at the overlook, what, wherever I was painting. And it allowed people to feel, I, it made me feel a little more approachable when they saw me out painting. And so if they came up and if they looked interested uh, in uh, possibly painting also, I encouraged them and I pulled out the supplies and they were painting right next to me. And so it was very satisfying just watching that uh, apprehension change to enjoyment and I a part of my thought was I wanted to help people to slow down a little bit and appreciate a little more what was in front of them so uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, I'm glad I did it I'm glad that I had the extra supplies so that people could paint with me and so uh, I went all up and down the park and I would um, I saw every sunrise for two weeks. 
and uh, I'm looking for some other photos. Uh, and uh, and so it was. Um, so I rolled out of bed around eight. eight I'm sorry, four o'clock in the morning. I had my breakfast, and I had pre-staged all my stuff at the door so I wouldn't forget it. And and then I would go out and head in the direction of where I needed or wanted to paint that day. And I would find some place to watch the sunrise. And I did a few sunrise paintings. And um, then uh, continued to wherever I was headed that day. And um, I started either three or four paintings a day. And I, I painted until I got tired. Most of the paintings that I started were small, but I did start a few larger canvases only because I knew that I could go back for a second visit and continue at the same time of day on the same canvas. And so, uh, but normally most of the, uh, the time the canvases were small. Here are a few. Uh, so this painting was started on location and then uh, finished here in the studio. And uh, here's another one. These are small paintings. And, uh, but I've been, I, I painted the park before the residency and I continue. I went out, this is Stony Man Overlook. And I, did, I, was, I went out there during my residency and, um, and I did a small painting. And so this is from using the small study, I was able to do this larger painting and, uh, and use some of those colors that I captured from the study. Uh, and the whole purpose of working on location is hoping to capture some of the true color that's in front of me. Um, and so uh, here's a map of uh, the park. And I, um, you can see the red dots. Those are all the places I stopped uh, to paint during, uh, while, while I was in the park. And so, and uh, what else? So th this is like mile uh, 42, around 42. And uh, here's another painting. always loved trees and rocks and so uh, there's lots of trees and rocks up in the park and so this is to me uh, a piece of art this this rock sits there in the woods and it's like a Henry Moore just waiting to be seen and so uh, and I have a couple more Let me, uh, get these out of the way. Here is uh, I love I love being up in the park in the spring, and and even seeing the park from outside because um, I love watching the green slowly crawl up the mountains as it gets warmer, and that's what this is. This is a old rag uh, in the springtime, and then here's another one of old rag. And here is uh, in the fall. Oh, I forgot to say. So um, it is so important that we support the Shenandoah National Park Trust, and I believe in that strongly. And so I um, am offering any paintings that you see. You can go on to my website, or you can go on, which is kevinhadams.com or you can go to the Gay Street Gallery website, and that's who represents me. They're right next door to my studio, and that's gaystreetgallery.com. Gay, gay and you, you can see uh, current available work in both lo locations, and I, uh, if anyone calls and is interested in purchasing something uh, between now and the end of the day Sunday, I will give 20% of the sales to the trust. We can all help the trust in different ways, whether it's time or our talents. For me, 
this is my talent. And if I can help by giving the trust a percentage of the sales, I'm more than glad to do that. Uh, the trust uh, asks to use one of my paintings to make a print. This is another painting of mine uh, of Old Rag. And the Shenandoah National Park Trust made this limited numbered print as a part of the 75th anniversary of the Shenandoah National Park. And uh, Gay Street Gallery is uh, how you can purchase one of these. And 50% of the sale of this print goes to the Shenandoah National Park Trust. And so here it is unframed. And I have one here uh, already framed so that you can see just how nice it is once it's framed. So I'll leave that up there. Um, so I had a great time uh, during my artist in resident uh, up in the Shenandoah National Park. And uh, I really appreciate, I mean, I'm still applying. You can't imagine, again, only living 11 miles away, I can go up in the park anytime I want. But the difference to being in the park and being able to roll out of bed and grab a paintbrush and start painting Im immediately um, is, just makes a world of difference. And uh, so, uh, oh, here's one uh, from the Acadia National Park. And uh, here, so here's another. I also go, I've also been up to Denali National Park. And so, um, these are the studies that I did while uh, up in Denali. And it's from these I would use for larger canvases. My, my, my goal in doing these small pieces was not to necessarily do a finished piece, but hope, hoping to capture uh, some of the real true color that, that was in front of me. And so, <laughs> these little things. And here's uh, Cape Cod National Seashore. Well, the Shenandoah National Park Trust has uh, arranged multiple pop-ups uh, live stream this week during National Park uh, Week. And there have been a couple before me and there's some fantastic ones uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So just watch uh, the Shenandoah National Park Trust uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook page, and you can see what that schedule is for those also. Uh, other artists who participated in the Artist in Residence re Resident pro Program. And uh, what else? What else? Well, I just feel very fortunate having had the opportunity and I uh, appreciate the opportunity to now share a little bit of my work here. Again, if you're interested in one of the prints, 50% uh, of the sale of the print goes to the Shenandoah National Park Trust. And any work that I have, it doesn't have to be just paintings of the park. Um, any of my work that sells between now and the end of the day Sunday, 20% um, of that will go towards, uh, will be given to Shenandoah National Park Trust. I'll show you one of my newest paintings. I just finished this. This is uh, here, very close to my studio, about three weeks ago. Well, thank you, and uh, I hope that I have the opportunity to do this again. You can follow me on K 
Kevin underscore H underscore Adams uh, on Instagram. And again, my website, kevinhadams.com. And uh, thank you very much.